Hello, I'm Phil Neville and I'm here with Peter. My wife's been vegetarian for about four or five years now. You know, I used to always think as a footballer, as a sportsman, that it was so important for me to eat meat, to have that in my diet. And I thought if I became a vegetarian, that would take away a lot of the nutrients that I would require to be a professional footballer and an athlete. So, uh, you know, I was really ignorant against it. I promised my wife that I'd try for two weeks. Then I realised that there are proteins out there that you can eat that's not meat. You know, I started to feel healthier, leaner. I started to feel great. You can get your proteins, you can get every kind of nutritional values in vegetarian dishes. And you find that you get your nutrition through your vegetables and seeds, peanuts. You know, I like quinoa. You go back two years and you put quinoa on my plate. I'd have said, you know, what are you giving me? But you find that, you know, quinoa goes with most things, even eating some seeds in an afternoon. These are all protein that could just fill the gap of eating steak, a fish, you know, or a chicken. We do use hemp protein, uh, sometimes I put it in, in like shakes, but I'd say soya protein is probably my favourite because I love my cereals in the morning, I love my cups of tea, I love, you know, so I use a lot of soya milk. It's made me feel better, it's made me feel healthy, and I read studies, I hope it makes me live longer. I think it's become more and more fashionable now, I think people are understanding the benefits, not just for yourself, but for the actual the environment. 2.5 million animals a day are being slaughtered. That is a damning statistic that we need to do something about. If everyone can even just do one day of not eating meat, then that could help you know, the animals and the environment in the future and it'll mean that we live in a better world.